Hey guys, Jesus here. Well, it's Sunday, so it looks like I'm bringing you another vlog video. This week I'm going to be doing some more Q&A where I answer questions from you about me. So if you have any questions of your own for me, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll get back to them in the next episode because I'm really enjoying this Q&A thing. First up, oh, we've got some questions from my buddy Max, a.k.a. Toe Pickles. He asked what my uh, favorite game series are, or what game series I had the most fun with or enjoyed the most throughout my life. Gotta say, first of all, Zelda, obviously. Yeah, as if you couldn't tell. And uh, after that, Final Fantasy, definitely. I really liked Final Fantasy VII a lot. It's probably my favorite, only because I've never played VI. VI would probably be my favorite if, I've, if I play it. And then I really like 8 too, and 9 not so much, and I never got a chance to play 10. I did fucking play the shit out of 10 too, which is sad, but I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy, love that series. Also Pokemon, I'm a huge fucking Pokemon fan. Like, not really up to date though, like, <laughs> the last Pokemon game I really played religiously was Pokemon Crystal version. So, yeah, I'm pretty far behind. But, uh, also, he wanted to know, uh, what some game series that I really enjoyed but felt were underrated, I guess, or kind of went under the radar, and I gotta give it up to the Gex series. I really fucking love that series, Gex 3 being my favorite out of all of them. And I don't feel that it got as much praise as it deserved. It was a really great game for its time. Uh, another great series is Parappa the Rapper. A lot of people don't really know that that's a series even. They're like, what? I thought that was just the one game. No, they made a sequel, which kind of sucked, but still is great. And then there was another game that kind of had to do with this. It had the same characters and stuff. It's called Um Jammer Lammy, where you play guitar instead of rapping. And I kind of like that one better. But yeah, I don't think that that game was really appreciated as much as it should have been. And then another game that I really felt didn't get the praise it deserved, or at least I never heard any praise out of, about it, at least not the kind that I thought it deserved. It's a game for the PlayStation PSX called Threads of Fate, which is a... Uh, I don't know, I don't want to call it an RPG, because it, it's not really... That's, that's an entirely different thing. It's fucking... It's like a fantasy-style game where you play as one of two characters. One's Rue and the other's Mint, and Mint can do magic, and she's got these hoops, and Rue has, like, this awesome-ass sword. I think I mentioned it in my art video. I drew a picture of his sword. But, uh, yeah, and you can transform into the enemies that you fight. Like, you kill enemies and they drop these tokens, and you pick them up and you can transform into them. It was a great fucking game with an amazing storyline, but I think it kind of went under the radar. It may just be me, though. I may just be misinformed, and you guys may have already heard of it, and I'll know that it's a fucking awesome game. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it for the games, though. He did Max did have one more question for me, and he wanted to know my thoughts on the next-gen systems. And I'm sorry, Microsoft fans, but I'm not looking forward to the Xbox One. I, whoa! Who's in the camera there? <laughs> yeah, not not going to be getting the Xbox One at any point. It just doesn't seem worth it at all. I mean, yeah, they changed their fucking stance on the DRM at the last minute, but the damage has been fucking done, Xbox. I'm sorry. And I think Cracked sums it up best with their breakup letter to Xbox. Which I might, I don't know, I might leave a link for that down in the description there for you. But that's a really great article. And PS4, I've always been a PlayStation fan I, since PlayStation 1. So, I don't know, if I had the money, I'd probably go with PS4, but I don't even have a PS3. I don't even have a PS2. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'd probably go PlayStation over, over Xbox, definitely. But, uh, over both of those, I think, I'm, I'm just, like, I'm content with my Wii. I'd be happy to get a Wii U, too. I mean, Nintendo's fucking awesome. There's nothing wrong with Nintendo at all. And everybody who bashes Nintendo just doesn't get gaming, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I think that's all the questions I had from Max, though. Yeah. Next up, I got a question from Dweeny Todd who asked if I was going to be getting a PC or if I planned on, you know, getting a computer at any point or a capture card or anything like that, which I would consider doing at some point, probably, when I have the money for it, like, I've been wanting to get a PC for a long time. I really would like to get one. As soon as I'm able to, I will be getting one. <laughs> so I hope that answers your question. 
And we're gonna wrap it up. I got a few questions from my good friend Tony. You may know him as Gunner. Uh, he's got... He asked my favorite color, which is interesting. Uh, simple, right to the point. My favorite color is green. It has been for a long time. I don't know, I just... It's an appealing color to me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to reason with you why it's my favorite color. It just is. So, just go with it. And he asked what my favorite food was. I'm gonna go with tacos. Definitely tacos. Homemade fucking hard shell tacos all the way. There's something about just making it all yourself, getting all the shit together, and then just assembling your own tacos, and they're delicious. <laughs> uh, also, like, uh, shells and cheese, like Belvita shells and cheese, and uh, that the skillet meals, too, you know, the liquid gold. <laughs> Those things are good. But, uh... Yeah, he also asked uh, if I ever have any plans to do any kind of horror games or anything, which I think would be fun. Like, when I get the PC, probably, definitely, I'd do, like, Amnesia or SCP or something like that. That'd be kind of fun, I think. Definitely Slender Man. I'd be doing Slender all over the place. <laughs> but, I mean, for right now, I'm doing, uh, I'm still doing Resident Evil, which isn't technically horror, I guess. I mean, it, no, no. But, uh, that Alone in the Dark game seems like it might be kind of freaky, so... We'll see how we'll see where that goes. I think that's all the questions that I have this week. So, like I said before, if you have any questions for me, be sure to leave them down in the comments section. I'll take a look at them and I'll address them in next week's vlog video. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one though. So be sure to tune in for the next one. Till then, don't forget to like and favorite the video if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down there in the comments section. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thanks for watching.